I'm going to enjoy the next few moments just as much as you. Because here are two of my favorite guys, Rowan and Martin. Here we are, standing out here just around the corner from Hollywood and Vine in front of the Hollywood Palace. As you know, Hollywood, California, one of the meccas for tourists from all around the world. And we have a lot of visitors in the, uh, in the city currently. We're going to talk to some of them as they walk past the building. This gentleman here looks, obviously, as if he must be a visitor. He has, uh, <laughs> sir? Well... You certainly have the uh, stamp of tourist written all over you. You're a visitor to our fair city, are you, sir? You knew I was from out of town, huh? Well, I could... <laughs> I, I thought perhaps you might be. You seem to have all the accoutrements. Well, uh, I've been taking something for it. Uh, no, I, I, I see. You, you seem to have quite a bit of the equipment. There. Oh, yes. That's for uh, the binoculars and the uh, camera, you know, like take some pictures of the case to carry movie all stars. All the, have you, you came out to see some movies. Came stars. out to see some stars. A lot of people are always looking for stars. Yeah. Right Kelly, I just hope I see Lyle Talbot or something. <laughs> you never know who you're going to run into. Oh, so, wow. You know, they say sooner or later everybody will pass the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Is that I'm, right? I'm sure that you're going to see. You don't mind, uh, you don't mind chatting with us for a no, minute until you see it, we're on television. It. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, oh, this is right. a big thrill for me. We have a camera located across the street oh, over there. Oh, fine. A little lens that zooms right in. They can right, see. Say hello to the folks in Battle Creek, Michigan. Is that where you're from, sir? <laughs> yep, that's the old serial capital of the world. You know? Battle Creek, yeah. Michigan. Yes, are you? <laughs> Shoot them right out of guns. <laughs> Are you uh, are you in the cereal business, uh, sir? No, no, no. I'm just out here on a tourist. I'm a I'm a doctor. You're a doctor. A DM. An MD. 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 <laughs> doctor. It's uh, it must be nice to get away from your practice. Oh, now I like then. to get out here and see some stars. You yes, know. sir. What what sort of doctor are you? Uh, I'm a good doctor. No, no, good no. <laughs> are you are you a GP? No, I've been in this country all my no, life. No, no. <laughs> you have a specialty? Are you, are you an obstetrics? Uh, no, we're down next to the elevator, actually. <laughs> I'm trying to find out your, your medical specialty, Doctor. Oh, I'm a surgeon. 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 You're a general surgeon? Aren't general you? surgeon. General. <laughs> nice little joke we have down there. Down, down where, sir? You say general surgeon. Oh, I see. Well, that means as general surgeon, you operate on anything from head to foot. Just point it out. Yeah. <laughs> Well, of course, that's a very difficult job, and you deserve a vacation out well, here in the beautiful thank sunshine. You, thank of course, you. we realize you don't operate alone, do you? No, we like to have a patient there. You <laughs> <laughs> go come right through the sheets, no, otherwise. You misunderstand. Miss I mean, you have a nasty note from the laundry. <laughs> no, I mean, you, you have to really know your job very thoroughly. Oh, because, you certainly yes, are. Yes, sir. Once the surgeon, <laughs> once the surgeon <laughs> takes that knife in his hand, look out. Yeah, well, <laughs> Mistakes. Why not? Who's gonna know? <laughs> we all wear those little masks when we know who did it. <laughs> we all know those masks are to keep you sterile. There are several questions, Doctor, that I want to ask as a representative of the medical profession. I didn't know that. <laughs> I would imagine from the if you just listen carefully now, I want you to answer several questions oh, we've been fine. asking Anything. all of our tourist friends visiting. Uh, first of all, you realize there must be thousands of young men around the country. Well, there must be. I see them on the streets all the time. <laughs> watching our program tonight. Oh. Now, I'll bet you that some of these young men are interested in medicine. Well, well, good. I'll tell you what. We could sure use them. Uh, you know, doctoring is a good thing. Well, the country we needs more doctors. We need more country doctors. Yeah, well, all sorts of doctors. <laughs> but, of course, you just don't get to be a surgeon. No, sir. You've got to study. 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 Study a long time. Yes, sir. How did you make out in school yourself, sir? Uh, well, I uh, graduated uh, uh, number one in the class of over 346. 300 yes, odd sir. There, huh? Yeah, well, uh, yes, you could say that. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, when I, I was the valedictorian. The, the valedictorian? That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> you were the valedictorian of your class. I certainly You could. made that speech on graduation I day. I certainly am. What did you uh, tell them? Uh, uh, well, I uh, just gave them a little pep talk and gave them my motto. And your motto? Just, yes, uh-huh. You have a motto. Oh, I guess so. Is this <laughs> something you've had all your life? Oh, since I was 13 years old. Oh, yes. I feel that success and a good motto go hand in hand. Well, I imagine it oh, does. I know so many famous motto. men seem to have had a motto yes, that they live by. Well, very quickly, and... Doctor, would you mind passing your motto on to our television audience? It might help some of these young fellows. Well, I'd be more than happy. Uh, if they could write it down, it would even, well, you know, be better. Well, I'm sure if they better. want to, they'll do that. All right. Uh, the motto that has helped me through life and through school, and it goes over the fence and through the woods. How many times have we seen it? Sometimes it's round... 
and sometimes it comes back. We must feel in our hearts that all of us that have ever, and the footprints in the sands of time, knowing these things, and maybe we could grab a handful someday. What'd you ask me? Uh, that was very enlightening, Doctor, and it's been a pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure there was something in there for almost everybody. I hope so. And, uh, we want to thank you for appearing on our show. Would you say good night, please? Good night, and thank you very much. We'll be back in just a minute. Now here's Helen O'Connell. Hi. Tonight I'm going to take Rowan and Martin's picture with my Polaroid color pack camera. Smile nice now, fellas. Okay. Thank you. We'll have our color picture in just about a minute. You know, if you're like most folks, you probably wanted to own a Polaroid camera. But maybe you thought it was too expensive. Well, that's not so anymore. Now, there's a whole line of Polaroid color pack cameras starting with this model that costs just under $60, right on up to this one, the same model I'm using tonight. And the finest camera Polaroid has ever made. They all make great color shots in 60 seconds, and black and white in 10. Now, if this picture's half as good as most of the Polaroid pictures I've taken, I know it'll be terrific. Let's see. Uh-huh. You see? It's just wonderful. Polaroid camera prices now start at less than $60. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Edward G. Robinson. And now, for the most vivid picture of Louis Armstrong... I give you the great Satchmo himself. Louis, I should like to read to you a telegram that we've received addressed to you. Very imposing, isn't it? <laughs> Louis Armstrong. May I join you and your many friends gathered in Hollywood, as well as the countless admirers who are thinking of you this day, as you observe your 50th anniversary as an entertainer. Few men have contributed so generously and brilliantly to the entertainment and delight, both of your own countrymen and of people throughout the world. Your voice and your trumpet are emblems of the universal power of music and of human talent. With all good wishes, Lyndon Baines Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Robinson. And thank you, Mr. President. Now, this one's for you. Saints watching in when the saints go watching in by a wall to be in that number yes. when the saints go watching in. Take it away, boy. 